Hey, many fish. It's still the 14th of May, and I'll tell you some really interesting things just keep coming across the screen here, and uh, I gotta share them. So, Embassy Day still, right? So I just click on these these head articles here, and I see this first, right? Netanyahu thanks Trump for keeping his promises. And we could go through every single word of this. But the very first paragraph is what caught my attention. And I'm go there's so much more to go with this. And I'm sorry that I, I see so much more than I share with you. And it's really because of many elements here. You know, it's just life. You know what I mean? Plus, you know, I got a pretty worn out brain and body here that... <laughs> struggle sometimes you know but netanyahu says 69 years after israel declared jerusalem as its capital stop okay it's 70 years since israel was declared a nation a state as they put it okay they they state it as a state not as a nation i, I think that might be important but 69 years ago Okay, and it's been 23 years since the Congress made it a lot of mandate Jerusalem as the capital. Oh, sorry about that. And so in between those two dates, 1949 and 1995, when this happened, was 46 years. Okay, so we have our 23, 46 years, 69. Now, the 23, the 46, and the 69 are so critical that I just hope that it makes sense how I explain this to you. The 23 represents the chromosomes in your DNA that you receive from your mother and your father. 23 from each, totaling 46 that make up a human being, okay? The 69 is a whole nother animal, but it is very meaningful symbolically as well as literally, but we'll just look at the symbolic meaning of it. You'll always see this in certain places throughout masonry in the occultic world. It looks just like a 69 because they disguise it as a 69, and it just happens to fall right in line with the next 23 on top of the 46. So you've got 23 plus 23, 46, plus 23, 69. That is the new creature. That is, uh, hmm. You know, I've just got to really be careful how I explain this because people, like, misunderstand, you know, when you're talking about the DNA and stuff. But it is all about the DNA. And that's really kind of the only key thing you, you need to understand because within your DNA is the mechanism that enables you to even know God, okay? So when they're diddling with your DNA, it's a bad thing because they're trying to take away your ability to know God. And it's the only way I know how to put it. And the 69 is just the completion of their plan for to destroy humanity, essentially, make us, like, completely godless. But, you know, that's God's, you know, whatever he wills done will be done. But this is all prophetic. This is all prophecy. And when we look at the 23 and the 46 and the 69, this is very interesting. So, you know, I hope, uh, I hope, I hope it makes sense to you. If we go back and look at 9-11, 2001, President George W. invoked Psalm 23. Fast forward 10 years, President Barack Hussein Obama invoked Psalm 46. Now, you need to read these things, okay? Here we are on this day. Now, let's count some days. If we look from September 11th, 2001 to the 21st of May, we come up with 6,096 days. Why the 21st of May? Because that's what's known as the second Shavuot. Okay, they have two. 
And you in any you uh, any Jewish calendar you look, they have the two. Okay. Let me find the calendar here. There it is. See, they have the Shavuot on the 6th of Sivan, which is so key. That day, its history is so key to all this. And But they have a second one, you know, like for those outside of Israel. You know, you got to look at all this stuff in a spiritual sense, but also in the natural world. It's It's just how it works, you know, to really see what I'm trying to tell you. That's all I can say. But nonetheless, right there, the 20th to the 21st, okay? And I only go to the 21st because it gives me my 6,096 days. You know, I don't like fiddling with the numbers. It's not my gig, you know. But if I just include the day and, and the other to the 20th, it's basically the same thing. That's the way I see it. I'm not huge on the calendars to begin with, but this is interesting because we know that September 11th happened when it did, and we know that Pentecost falls on this day, right? And why is Pentecost important? I mean, I can't even count the ways why that's important, especially when you're talking about in the Jewish history of this day that we're talking about here and how David uh, plays into this, King David, okay? The Torah was given, according to Jewish history, I'm just telling you, 1313 B.C. This is when it happened. I'm just showing you what they, and I'm going to link this stuff for you guys, all right? Because it's fascinating beyond belief. And I'm telling you, it, it plays right into what we're seeing happen big time. And this is the day, the 20th of May, that David, descendant of Judah, the son of Jacob, as well as of Ruth, and they go through all of these things. And this is the day that they memorialize him. Apparently that he passed away. King David passed away on the 6th of Sivan. Now, I don't know about you, but that just, like, freaks me out. That's so wild. Okay, but let's go back to this anyway. 9-11-2001, 6,096 days. There's your 69. 9-11-2011, Obama, same thing with the numbers here. Obama reading Psalm 46. 2,444 days. Now, I don't know really what to make of that. It's 669% of a year, which is really interesting. And, you know, I could fiddle around with some of these other numbers, but I don't like doing that. Oh, boy. If we were to go, no, we can't go any further. But do you see what I'm getting at? I mean, do you see, like, the little connections here that I'm trying to share with you? And how there's no way that these are, like, coincidences, you know what I mean? The 23 years, the 69 years, the 46 years in between... Bush reading Psalm 23, Obama reading Psalm 46, and now Netanyahu doing his speech 69 years later, as if they're saying they've sealed the deal. This is a monumental time frame, people. This is all that's really pointing to. And it's all God. It's it, He's got his hand over everything. But these people, I'm telling you, oh, man. Be not deceived, that's all I can say. Dive into the word, pray, pray, pray. Because this is absolutely amazing and prophetic. But, you know, looking at the dates, that's the weird stuff. I don't know if I should even get tangled up in these dates. That's interesting. 444. Man, I'm not really pulling out of my you know, understanding what exactly that means other than it was Obama was 44. And I know we can come up with a million things for the 444, but what does it really mean? But I'll leave that to you guys and I'll think on it myself. But that's about all I got for you at the moment. I mean, that I can, you know, articulate to you in a reasonable fashion, you know. So, again, I'll link all this stuff. There's just... So much more to this. It's absolutely amazing. Today, today is marking a very, very big, big day. 
there is a move being made that this this underbelly of this world these dark powers i'm just reiterating it they have a plan they have a plan to deceive and destroy humanity and steal all all souls from god that's the main objective is to get you to fall into this deception this lie this utopia they're going to offer you after all the hell that's about to break loose so you know just take it to prayer that's all i can tell you at least read psalm 23 46 and 69 69 is so perfect for this time right now save me oh god for the waters are come in unto my soul I sink in the deep mire where there is no standing. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. Come on. That's David, who passed away on Pentecost. <laughs> and, oh man, there's so much to this, you guys. I can't even begin to tell you. Anyway, that's all I'm going to hand off for now. I'll talk to you all later. Peace and grace to you. Pray always and keep looking up. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 